In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create quickly a form like this, which could be used for hair, for example. So when I go to my brushes, I have an insert multi-mesh multi -mesh brush. And with that brush selected, if I press create mesh from brush and then turn on my polyframe, then you see it is simply a cube with three polygroups and the middle points are not welded and I have created an insert mesh brush from it. So when you press the B key, create insert mesh and then in your stroke palette, you set curve mode and other options like size for the curve if you want to have a broad tip uh, or a broad base and a narrow tip and in your brush settings modifiers you have tripods well points and stretch i have set some curve rest and upped my max bend angle anyway so if i now draw out my curve it's that cube that is being turned into a curve geometry. So now I can shape this. So I'm going to increase my brush size to make it a bit bigger. Maybe not that big at the base because I'm going to shrink it down. Anyway, pull it together. And in order to be able to really shape it, you can play with the curve resolution and the max bend angle. So just going to quickly go over it, not going to pay too much attention to how this curve is shaped, because that is something that you can do On your own. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that, at that. Just a quick example. So click on the geometry. Now I don't need that cube anymore, so I'm going to select that one, Control Shift A, and delete hidden. And now of course I can subdivide this a couple of times and delete my lower subdivisions. So this is now what I have. I'm going to make it one polygroup. It's not that important. But anyway, so what I can do right now to make this more interesting or to kind of create extra strands of hair, I'm going to control shift click and hash loop, invert it. And in my stroke palette, um, it was open, I'm going to frame mesh and set it to border. So uncheck polygroups, increased edges, so frame mesh, and that will place a curve around the borders, unhide the rest if I want to. And now select, for instance, a brush like the curved tube brush. And now when I click and I'm going to check my brush size first, I'm going to lower my brush size something like that and now when I click that curve and delete the curve go out of polyframe clear my mask and it was a bit big my brush size so I'm going to undo lower the brush size again maybe turn on dynamic make it a bit bigger now click on it again delete my curve and I can continue doing so. So control shift click, invert, frame mesh, unhide, click, delete curve. And you can continue doing this all over the geometry as much as you like. So delete curve. Control shift click, invert, frame mesh, unhide, click, 
and of course I can delete my curve I can also change my brush size so frame mesh make it a bit smaller click to have variations it okay and this is a method in which you can quickly create these kinds of strands if you quickly want to create some hairs then you don't have to create a fancy insert multi mesh brush just a cube will do and I can go of course to geometry dynamesh and click dynamesh so now I have one continuous mesh and I can of course do everything else with it like zero mesh or whatever sculpt on it do a clay polish maybe anyway this is a fast method to create these kinds of hairs without having to create a fancy insert multi mesh brush just a cube and then with the stroke palette frame mesh then you can insert curves and insert any geometry you like along that curve hope you found it useful bye